I'm on the island of Rhodes this morning and I'm heading up to the Acropolis of Lindos. I have done several videos about the Acropolis, but I want to talk to you about something a little bit different today. So to get up to the temple here um, in Lindos, you have to go up a series of steps. There are, the whole site is on different levels and the very last set is called the Stairway to Heaven. I'll show you why. So here's the last series of steps leading up to the temple. This is what was called the stairway to heaven, and you can see why. The only thing that's visible until you get up to the top here is the sky. So pilgrims coming here would feel closer to the goddess and to the gods in general. So now I'm at the very top. The reconstructed bits of the Temple of Athena are behind me because really nothing remains. Uh, but I want to talk a little bit about the importance of temples in antiquity. So just like with today's churches or other religious uh, structures, certain ones are more famous and more visited than others. So for example, a local church dedicated to St. George here on the island of Rhodes is certainly not as famous as, for example, uh, the, I don't know, Notre Dame in Paris. So people uh, tend to visit the ones that are most famous. And the same goes for uh, temples in antiquity. So of course the Parthenon of Athens was one such famous temple, but this temple behind me, the temple dedicated to Athena here in Lindos, uh, was one of the ancient world's most famous temples. Athena was a protectress. She was something like a mother to people, and people worshipped her as such. And on the 15th of August every year, there was a great celebration coming up here to celebrate her birthday. That date may be familiar to you if you're a Christian because to this day in many European countries or many Christian countries, the 15th of August carries significance. And that is that it's the Dormition of the Virgin Mary. And this really isn't a coincidence. The reason for it is that when the new religion began gaining a foothold, people missed the old celebrations, the old uh, traditions. And so the early Christians decided to sort of transfer certain of those traditions to the new religion. So some of the attributes of Athena being a, sort of like a mother goddess, a protectress, were uh, transferred to the Virgin Mary, as were some of the feast days. So the 15th of August, for example, is uh, in the Greek church, uh, in Italy, in Spain, a very important uh, festival of the Christian church dedicated to the Virgin Mary, though, nowadays. There are many examples of how the new religion, Christianity, supplanted the ancient pagan religion and how certain traditions were kept because people enjoyed them and they were used to them. And these are things that connect us to our ancient ancestors.